Oh, shit. We're on Team Steam's shit list. Oh, no. You know, I remember back in the good old days when enemies had proper names. Things like Team Rocket, Team Plasma, Nazis. Remember that game when, uh, when you're playing as Ash and you had to beat the shit out of Nazis? Because that was, that was my favorite game as an elementary school student. Yep. I believe it was Pokemon. Okay. Kill the Nazis. I really like not being able to move for half this game. That's really... Yeah, give that shit a nickname. Alright, now, every one of your Pokemon, you're going to want to give it a name that represents its personality and, you know, what it means to you. Now, this is this is green, and it's, it's a Bulbasaur, so we're going to give it something, you know, pretty creative and pretty original. Okay. Bam! Would you look at that! A name that means a lot, and it is very endearing. Yeah, now notice how the name represents what the Pokemon, you know, looks like. And, and it'll basically boost morale around your Pokemon, and they won't, you know, run the fuck away from you next time you try and make them fight to the death against another one of their own kind. And here we are, finally out of the tutorial, heading back to Yellowtown. Oh, wait, never mind. We're still not out of the fucking tutorial! Okay, I finally actually got to move around, so that's pretty ballin'. Uh, I'm ready to help you now. Ooh. How do you think she's gonna help us, uh, Ollie? You know what? I know what she's gonna do. She's gonna get on her knees. And beg to take on the world's greatest snake. Uh, you're talking about Arbok, right? Yes, actually, I am. Okay, we're Ekans. Arbok is an excellent Pokemon. Don't discredit it. It's scary looking. All right, I wasn't really paying attention to that text because uh, text puts me to sleep. So I'm just going to go free roam this bitch. Now... Wait, we actually have to go back in there. Oh, fuck, for real? Yeah, because you got to get the Pokeball from there. Oh, shit. So I'm going to catch him with <laughs> Put that in there. <laughs> no, wait, you actually have to go back in there. Oh, fuck, for real? <laughs> Before you leave, here's a little gift from me. It is... The Pokeball. Okay. None of my buttons work. That's sweet. Pokeball in your ball sack. Now, they'll say it's actually your ball pocket. It's really actually its own sack. Pro yeah. tip number 428. You really want to just firmly keep your balls in that sack. Do not lose them. Uh, and it could be... What the fuck are these things? Pro uh, tip number uh, 5... Avoid any anomalies on your screen because I think that's smoke coming out of a chimney, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid anomalies still because that shit'll fuck you up. What is this stalker? We haven't gotten that for pro tipping yet. Okay. All right, Cinder. Here we go. Out into the wild. Now, what I was brought on here for was I'm here to help Cinder find the true Pokemon that you want, the one and only. Danger to the world. Let's see if we found it. Nope. What the fuck is a Wurmple doing in here? Wurmples are actually not worms. What they are is their little girl's imaginations of their little squishy unicorn ponies that came to life. We're going to have to get a vomit <laughs> fixed up. <laughs> we are. Vomit's like taking a beating <laughs> over here. <laughs> Pro tip number 57.3a. String shot is not actually string. It's actually the Pokemon jizzing on yours. Yes, and that's that's really disgusting. So we're not about that game. We're just going to run because anytime something's trying to, you know, come in your general direction, you're going to want to get the fuck out of there. It's it's common, you know, uh, you know, human 101. And uh, even though these are Pokemon... They follow some of the same rules as we can do. Pro tip number 12. Always try and move faster than the speed of fucking dirt. Now, if you if you actually look closely, the dirt is moving faster than us. Uh, let me just do praying, praying to this uh, dog thing over here. And uh, we can't go through that way. Thank you, Obama. Now, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Obama. there's a gap the size of fucking Venus there, and you can't travel through it. There's a gap wider than my mom's vagina. Hey, baby, how you doing? Okay, useless information. 
Now, what you, that Britain. was what he might be thinking, but that information is actually quite pertinent to anything you might need to know. I don't even know what the hell it was. Alright, for, for real shit though, pro tip, fucking hack this so you can run faster than anything. Where the shit? There's not even a medical center. I think you have to go back to Vermont. Vomit's gonna die. <laughs> you gotta go to back to her thing and then go into up in there and you. Okay. Y'all gonna make me do my open here, open here. Oh, I gotta get my accent arrest real quick. <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> oh, this is good. I like this. All right. Now, wait, wait. Put it in there. Oh. Maybe. No. Maybe I talk to these people. Hello? No! My name is Juan Emilio Esquivel Julio. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father, but I'm still die. Oh my fucking god! Oh shit, now we're locked in! Get the fuck out of my way! Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Back on till. Okay. Uh, so for real, we need some health. Uh, I think that girl down at the end of the town. I think she might have something you might need. What, this one again? No, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a shrimp. Shrimp on the body. Alright, got my accent back. Yeah, my friend kind of loses his accent sometimes. Just, you know, in and out. You know. Don't worry. Came back. Back to business. Maybe if we die, we can show up at a medical center. That'd be really cool. Oh, this is our fucking house. <laughs> Shit! All right, my like keep, memorization of keep things. Keep going south. South? South. There's nothing south. There's that girl right there. Oh, she heals your shit. Mmm, kinda. She gives you a potion. Yes. I am a good trainer. Take this gift for your journey. Obtain the max potion. Now I know what you're thinking. Max potion? That's way too powerful. Truth be told, it really isn't. Yeah, max potions can be used uh, all the time. You know, one one HP down, use a fucking max potion. Max that shit, because we we're not about going you know soft here. We gotta go, we gotta go hard. Go hard or go home. All right, now let's see if we found the rare and elusive. No. Fuck, Wurmple! <laughs> Son of a bitch. God damn, this is right. I'm just gonna run from this bitch. Go! Vomit! <laughs> now, I know what you might be thinking. Wait, vomit? Isn't that what Squirtle does? No. What Squirtle does is he actually sneezes. Squirtle, the sneezing Pokemon. No, don't go past that dude. Go past him? No, don't go past him. He's a oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Ah. Uh, Alright, tip tip number uh, six. Uh, do not do not fucking walk anywhere near other paint fucking trainers. They will rip your shit out and uh, basically they're fuck away from them. They are really annoying. I can't even describe how much I hate trainers in this game. They just get in the way of your main objective, which is to, you know, make money and Get bitches. Get bitches, but this dude is preventing me. With a caterpie. With a caterpie. Now, <clears throat> the strategy when dealing with a caterpie, any kind of grass type Pokemon, you don't want to think conventionally. Conventional tell you, oh, I know how to do I'll use a fire type Pokemon. That's a brilliant idea. Actually, it's a terrible one. What you want to do is you want to use grass type. Now, since we um, since we chose uh, vomit here, and growl is actually a demon type, we're gonna go with tackle, which is almost grass type except it's normal. Uh, it's grass enough, you know. Bulbasaur is a grass type Pokemon, so every attack they do is grass type, really. Critical hit. See, when you when you think outside the box, you get shit done. I need a medical center. <laughs> it's like, God damn it! And they're just fucking nowhere. Meanwhile, this thing's taking a shit on me. Jesus Christ! God damn it! What the fuck? We gotta find like some triple speed button or something. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. 
<laughs> well, maybe, the fuck? maybe now I'll actually go to a fucking what's it called? A uh, health place? Yeah. Pro tip: uh, Don't battle anyone ever. <laughs> because damn, son. She just got wrecked. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, this time I will not battle that dude. Uh, at least in this video. So, <laughs> like a foot. <laughs> what are these uh, random ass things in my game here? That's uh, smoke, mate. Uh, uh, that's that's my ass. <laughs> that, that was pretty good, though. All right, we're back on the hunt for the wild and elusive, most dangerous Pokemon in existence. <sighs> And we're still... Oh, wait, maybe, just maybe, there's only a small chance, but it could be. It, it, it's this! It's the wild Bidoof! Okay, now, we got to play this one real touchy-like. It's going to be a little bit touch and go. Uh, now, when you, we really got to capture this, because... It, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Bidoof rarely pops up. And uh, if you get one, capture it. And capture as many as you can. An entire army. <laughs> because look at that. Look at the deadliness of it. Look at the buck teeth. The bushy tail. It's like a beaver without the extras. Without the shit. Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna capture this motherfucker. So, here we go. Let's see this bitch. At least we're at like max health and not at retardedly low health like we were before. Because uh, we couldn't find a fucking poker center. Yeah, that is true. Bidoof was seated. Oh, yeah. The wild Bidoof. How aggressive he is. Now, ironically, the uh, female vomit here seated the male Bidoof. Uh, now, that's irony for you, mate. So that's some, that's some next level shit right there. Uh, it's gonna take forever. Well, we can only use leech seed because we don't want to scare it away by by we using it. We can only our... use leech seed once. Now you just have to just keep going and growl. Oh, yeah. I guess we're gonna have to growl him to death. Now that that's just a little too powerful though, so I'm a little scared of using <laughs> growl. A little skeptical. I understand. But the wild Bidoof causing damage. <laughs> The doof is wrecking our shit for real well. <laughs> because we can't attack it. We want to capture it. <laughs> Sapped by leech seed. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, when can we fucking use this Pokeball? Probably. Doesn't it, like, capture all level twos, though? Uh, we'll take a shot. Oh, wait. Time to... What am I thinking? I'm just gonna keep leech eating you. That does, like, literally shit. I would not try Holy shit, freaking Bidoof. Calm your dick. <laughs> Oh my god. I just want to look up Bidoof Catch Rate. Bidoof Catch Rate. 100% always. <laughs> Here we go. Bidoof Catch Rate. Uh, catch Rate is 33%. <laughs> with a full... With a Pokeball at full health. Okay, so we had a 33% chance at full health. What's... How does it, like, advance as time goes on? Oh, it goes up slowly. <clears throat> Am I still leech seeing him, or are we just like sitting here now, just doing nothing? Oh, it's actually a mouse Pokemon. Oh, fuck. What a fucking confused name. Beaver Pokemon <laughs> up in this bitch. The thing's gonna have zero attack by the time we're done with it, so. Tackle. This shit better not hurt me too much. Holy fuck. Bidoof is wrecking our shit. Like, so hard. Alright, All right, yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay, we're good. What's yellow now? Yellow's good enough. Yellow is half. Half percentage? Yeah. So 50%? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Here we go. We're going into the ball sack. So we get the Pokeball. Five! <laughs> Fuck! We had five. Yeah, for real though. We had five Pokeballs. Okay. Well, let's use this shit. Now here we go. We're going to capture the Bidoof. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh. I am still fucking hard right now. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'm oh. gonna need to consult a physician. 
because I'm about to die. Yeah! Oh, look at that! The first Bidoof in our growing army has been caught. The first of many, uh, might I add. We need we need basically all Bidoofs if we want to go all the way. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of these guys. With nerves of plump mouse, my ass. That shit's a beaver. Now we're gonna give a nickname to Bidoof. Yeah, of course. Always give a nickname. Now, we've decided that that we should name it basically basically as it is. And since it is a god Pokemon, we named it Zeus, you know? It, it basically is undefeatable. The God of Thunder. Now, we know what you might be thinking. What? Don't worry. This Bidoof, although only level 2, it'll grow into the strongest meanest, most powerful Pokemon you've ever seen. And hopefully, it'll lead us to more Bidoofs. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, use the scent of this one Bidoof, get uh, get on its good side, and it'll introduce us to its family, and then we can have a whole family of Bidoofs fighting side by side. And, and then, we'll take over Yellowtown. And then, the world! Yeah, and just so you guys know, uh, every one of these battles took about three and a half hours to complete, so there's a lot of edited footage, but that's just because we didn't want to uh, bore the shit out of you guys. Now, uh, that'll, that'll just about wrap it up for this video, I guess, so we'll continue next time with uh, furthering our Bidoof army and figuring out how the fuck to play. So, uh, see you guys later. Bye!